Okay, so man, Jamal Charlo says that. Who's that? Jamal Charlo. Oh, okay. Uh, says that. Jamal. Says that you know the the Pacquiao fight and Spence fight will be a lot better fight because the Pacquiao style will definitely make for a much better fight with um, Errol Spence. Do you agree with what Jamal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Pacquiao's been a one four seven fighter for quite long. Pacquiao's a lot better fighter than Mikey Garcia. He's gonna throw way more punches. It's gonna be a more action packed fight. Faster, faster, stronger. All all of the above. So, and right now Pacquiao is probably a true welterweight. You see. He's probably right now because he's been fighting at welterweight for a long time now. So he's he's used to welterweight. Mikey Garcia wasn't used to fighting at welterweight, you see. So it is what it is. But I think that's a big, big fight. And it's a, it's definitely the styles do match up really well. That'd be a way more action-packed fight. Because Errol Spence is going to have to work a lot more. His work rate's going to have to be a lot more to fight again when he fights against Pacquiao. Because you've got to realise, you know, Pacquiao's going to throw a lot of punches. So you've got to realise his punch stats will be a lot different as well. Um, I personally think I I personally think that you know the fight is a much more interesting fight. It's, it'll be a fight which I think we'll all we'll all love to watch. You know, Pacquiao, like Errol Spence says, bring blood, blood, gut, and tear. You know, sweat and tears. He's just a great fighter. Pacquiao, somebody that is is not gonna. He's got a great style that causes everyone trouble because he has an X factor. He's got his speed. Unfortunately for Mikey Garcia, he didn't really have anything that could cause uh, Spence any issues. I believe my uh, Pacquiao speed could cause Errol Spence trouble. Don't get me wrong, Errol Spence is going to be a big favorite in the fight, but I still think that Pacquiao speed has a big, has a big role to play in that fight. Uh, let's see if Errol Spence can use his size advantage against Pacquiao to neutralize him like he did against Garcia. But I just think Pacquiao has a lot more offensively about him to cause Errol Spence a lot of trouble. Don't you think with his speed? That he's going to cause Errol Spence a lot more trouble than what Mikey Garcia was able to do. Yeah, plus he's going to throw more punches. Mikey Garcia didn't even land. He la he la he wasn't even. He didn't even go over double figures. So that goes to show that he didn't even throw. To be honest, I think if they show the punch stats, the pu punches thrown, I don't think Mikey Garcia would have even thrown over a hundred punches in that fight. And people throw that. But, but the, the thing is, that in one the round. thing is, he wasn't allowed to throw punches because, firstly, he was afraid of what was coming back because he knew yeah, Spence you know was bigger. And also, not just that, Spence would never let him get into range as well because Spence was so much bigger, he was getting the jab I'm in his face exactly. and he was, he was boxing from the outside. So Garcia really just couldn't get near him. He was too big too, and he was too clever for and Garcia. I don't think Garcia was willing to get knocked out clean. In the, in the exchange? I don't think he was... I think he did try to step on the gas at certain points, but the problem was Spence was just very smart and very clever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he was very skillful as well, Spence, you know, which... I just think he, all around Spence was a better fighter. I don't yeah. I don't care what weight that, fi that fight was for. He doesn't beat Errol Spence at 140 or 135. Simple as that. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. I think, obviously, size plays a big part because uh, when you move up that many weight categories, I don't think you can knock... I don't. I think you know. Mikey Garcia didn't have any pop to hurt Errol Spence. He didn't have anything to keep Errol Spence off of him, um, and and Errol Spence just had it easy because, it, like Errol Spence said, it was easy money in the end for him. Yeah, uh, but, so easy, he won but, every single round. But, but, but thing is, with Pacquiao, it's a completely different game, isn't it? Pacquiao's Pacquiao's got power. He's got pop. He's got speed. He's a chess match. He's got. He's got. He's got, he's, he's got um, angles. He's just a different kind of fish, Pacquiao, and I it'll just be a think... chess match. It'll be a chess match because I I know Carol Spence is he's ve he's very clever. You see, uh, even against Mikey Garcia, he boxed. So he'll try to box against Pacquiao because he knows he can't risk you know just throwing wildly against Pacquiao and just trying to knock him out because he could get knocked out in the exchange. So I think he'll fight very cleverly in the um, the Pacquiao. Fight. I think he'll try to box, but um, that's the way I think he'll go about it. Yeah, guys, so leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think about what Jamal Charlo is saying, that Manny Pacquiao style will make for a much better fight against Spence. Leave your thoughts, guys, in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.